Well, I haven't been uh, doing much work outside since it's winter time, but I, uh, I've been playing with a couple of toys in my, uh, I guess, my uh, electronic cave. I, I picked up, I guess, I haven't really counted them yet, but I think I got about 15 to 18 old CB radios. Uh, here's an example of some of them. And uh, these are working ones. I've got them hooked up to a uh, dummy load, so they're not going out to antennas. And uh, rigged up some uh, switches and stuff to switch them on and off. Some homemade microphones. Audio, 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 test, test, test. So I've been having a ball. My goal is to uh, convert, uh, these are us, um, at least 12 of them are single sideband CB rigs. And I'm hoping to get them on the uh, uh, ham radio 10 meter band at least. Maybe some other bands if I can figure out how. Uh, my goal is to uh, test some of the digital modes which hams are using, hooking up their computers to their radios and typing to each other, kind of like... Uh, um, radio Facebook almost. So uh, I can do a lot of experimentation. These two, uh, General Electrics, uh, are two identical ones and uh, I'll probably use them to the test because that'll, them being identical, I can use the same uh, hookups and things for uh, to hook them to the computer, which isn't trivial. It takes a lot of soldering. Got my soldering iron unplugged here, but I've been just doing some soldering to solder up this mic connector. I've been having a ball. Let me show you the details of these radios a little bit. I don't know if you can see it, but I got them both on channel 30. Um, let me show you my my first microphone test rig. I uh, soldered a mic connector right there. And actually has a mic receptacle there in case I want to plug in a mic without taking it out. But uh, connected to the mic connector are um, uh, wires going to this terminal strip. You can see I just kind of like put them in there, soldered them on. Each one of those goes to uh, a pin on the mic connector. And I've got them numbered. So it's uh, one, two, three, four. Then I got a switch here, which is my uh, push to talk switch and receive switch. A lot of these CBs won't receive anything unless you have the mic hooked up. It's kind of odd. Uh, it hooks the, it, it makes the uh, receive circuitry switch off and the transmit circuitry switch on. So you got to have the uh, the receive hooked up. So uh, by jumping these wires in, because not all CBs are wired alike. I jumper the wires in and at least I can get it to receive and transmit. Some of the older CBs use a relay and they usually will receive as soon as you turn them on but most of the uh, ones say like after around 1976 you had to actually hook up the microphone to make them receive. So uh, this works quite well and occasionally I'll hook up the uh, a microphone to it. Um, I'll just use any old mic I have in the shop and for a lot of them, it's uh, hooking up uh, the hot of the microphone to one and grounding the other side. It's kind of odd. Uh, it'll squeal on you because you're not turning off the microphone in receive, so it'll feed back into itself if you're not careful, make a big squeal. So sometimes I just hold the, uh, the mic connector, turn it on to transmit, and then manually put the, uh, usually on most of them, it's pin one. I just hold the uh, connector on there and I can transmit and test it. Sometimes I wire it in. But uh, a lot of fun. And like I said, this one is, you can see, is wired to a, uh, just an, any old mic I could find. And you can uh, transmit. Here's some of the other ones I bought laying on the uh, floor. I'm, uh, went through them real quick and didn't write anything down, but now I've learned, uh, I write down, you can see the sheet of paper there, 
um, that I write down on the and then tape it to the uh, radio what I did with it or I forget because I got a lot of them. And there's another pile and I got some other junk with it too. I got the microphones. Oops! I got the microphones laying in a pile over there so I can go through them. The guy had commercial gear too, so some of the uh, microphones are for commercial. Uh, FM radios. And here's yet another pile, and they're jostled up against some of my uh, computer junk I had laying around. I'm um, starting to mix them up. Um, sometimes I'll pick up a thing, I think it's a radio, and it'd be a computer. Oh well. <laughs> Problems. <laughs> Problems of our modern times. And there's the insides of a uh, Ham International, an imported CB rig, which I haven't got it working yet. Quite interesting. It was made in, I think, in uh, Holland. Not at all like the other rigs. For one thing, it'll do FM and has 140 channels, but uh, haven't got it to work yet. And this is a uh, 12, uh, well, 13.6 volt. Call them a 12 volt power supply. Uh, actually, a half decent one has a, um, a short protection on it, so that red light comes on if you screw up. And then I just ran two, uh, two pieces of copper down to the terminal strips here. So this side is positive and this side is negative. It makes it uh, real easy to hook up numerous radios. You can see i got a lot of wires going in there. And then this one here, uh, which uses spade clips to hook up rigs. So that way I don't ever have a shortage of uh, hookups. I had the top watt, watt meter before and it was kind of flaky, but this came in the pile of radios I bought. Actually, a half decent one, as did the. Uh, let's see if I get up here. Uh, I got two of these uh, MFJ uh, dummy loads, 200 watt dummy loads. Uh, the other one's hooked up to the rig and it's in the back, hooked up to this uh, watt meter so I can use it all the time. And uh, they, they've come in real handy. Um, you know, I don't have to worry about uh, uh, bothering the neighbors, like I said. Uh, I got this. I got this thing too, which uh, is a talking watt meter, and I, I don't have it hooked up, but it actually works, and it goes up to a thousand watts, so uh, I'm actually quite pleased with that. For testing, when you don't want to take your eyes off the radio, that'll come in real handy. Plus, the other uh, watt meter down here only goes to a hundred watts, so as ham radio, I'm legal up to a thousand. So, uh, there's a uh, radio on the bottom. That's a... Uh, uh, um, uh, desk version, I guess you'd call it, and they usually have AC uh, power supplies. You can plug them in uh, directly to AC. Although, um, about a third of the ones I've got, uh, the AC, I've had to remove it because it wasn't good. But uh, you hook it up to 12, it would work. Go figure, huh? Well, I'd uh, <coughs> apologize. Uh, I would apologize for the uh, shop being so messy, but I actually cleaned it to make this video. So, <laughs> I had to this workbench behind me, I actually had to, I mean, it was piled up with uh, uh, projects from five, ten years ago. So, uh, I'm making progress. And uh, it's actually a lot of fun, you know. In, in another two months, I'll be outside on the driveway fixing my diesels and whatnot. But uh, uh, in the cold weather, this is just what I needed. I'm having a ball. Oh, some people are going to ask me the prices for all these radios. I got them for about $7 a piece, so uh, if I burn them up, I really don't care. I'll keep you all appraised of the progress. Uh, I definitely want to get the uh, a video of me uh, working the digital modes. I think people who haven't seen that might be intrigued. Catch you guys later.